going to uh, take our attention now to that difficult, dangerous cave rescue, one of the most difficult ever attempted, the 12 Thai boys and their football coach who were freed last week after being trapped a kilometre underground when the cave system they were visiting became flooded. Well, the mission involved more than 1,000 rescuers, including a team of British elite divers who flew to Thailand after pleas from authorities. They arrived home on Friday as heroes, uh, and this morning we are joined by one of them, Josh Bratchley, who was uh, one of the team. 27 years old, you were out on a holiday, weren't you, Josh, when you got the call? Uh, yes, I was. I was in the, uh, in the Dolomites in Italy at the time. And so you flew back home, you, you live in Wales, you flew back home, then went uh, straight out again to Thailand. What was your role as part of the rescue? Um, so we had a, a, a number of UK divers out there, as you'll know, and uh, generally there was four lead divers who uh, spent the majority uh, or, or di who did the majority of the underwater parts of the cave with the uh, with the kids. How dangerous a mission was this for everybody involved? Um, so for ev everybody involved, I mean, it, it was dangerous the, with for a variety of reasons. I mean, the, the cave passage uh, beneath the water was um, awkward, awkward diving. Uh, it was very low visibility, and uh, there was the usual risks associated with cave diving that, uh, that uh, itself can be quite hazardous at times, uh, coupled with uh, the possibility of, of flooding in these cave systems. Um, we, we were in the monsoon period, so you've always got to be very careful of the weather. And um, I think all those things together uh, make it fairly risky. And then again, on top of that, you're then diving and handling uh, uh, kids in the cave who've never swum before. They've, they've certainly never dived before. And um, all these factors do make it a very hazardous rescue. These kids are very brave. Um, they've been through an awful lot uh, even before uh, we reached them and certainly before we, we managed to rescue them. So uh, for them to even keep their composure for that long is extremely impressive. Um, and we've all been uh, very impressed by that. Um, as for them uh, coming out of the cave, I mean, the relief for everyone involved, um, uh, not, not least the divers, but you've also got all the surface support teams and everyone involved. There's a huge number of people involved in this operation, all working together as a team, and the relief was, was massive. But uh, for some of the divers um, who were last out of the cave uh, every day, um, the, the world knew the results of that day before, before some of us did. Um, so myself and one of the other support divers, we were the last uh, rescue divers out of the cave each day. And actually, um, it's, it's highly likely that uh, we were the last to know um, how well that day went. Um, so uh, the relief when we emerged as well to, to find that the kids were safe was, was just amazing. Well, Josh, look, you guys, a lot of people would be throwing around the word hero about our footballers uh, who did very well, but, you know, came forth in a football competition. To me, what you guys did out there was utterly heroic. Mm. And the fact that it was so completely successful and you saved the lives of all these children is a magnificent achievement and makes me genuinely so proud of you, of Britain, you know, seven divers, I think, from this country alone took part in this. So thank you very much indeed to you and all your colleagues for what you did. Thank you. Aww. Very modest, unassuming young man like all of them. None of them really want to be called heroes. And what else can you call them? I mean, amazing. Risking their lives to save a bunch of kids in another country in Thailand. Um, but what an amazing achievement. There are the British divers who took part there. They all just look so sort of normal, unassuming. I know. Nice Josh's folks. day job is at the Met Office. He's a meteorologist. Is he really? Yeah. Amazing. Isn't it extraordinary that we in the UK yeah. have the best cave divers in the world who like are able that. to go out and We're do that. We're very, very good at weird things in this country. <laughs>